Hello, Wendy. Hello, teacher. Hello, everybody. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't hear you. You and me. <laughs> hmm? Yeah. Sorry, I, I, I didn't hear you, Wendy. What? No, let's go check. No, me, um, I say, I say everybody. And oh, no, no. <laughs> only, right, just only, only me. You. Only yes. me, yes, you're right. Yes, oh well, yeah. I don't How know. do you say, uh, tomar la tarde o agarrar la tarde o algo así? ¿Cómo es? ¿Cómo es? Tomar la tarde. Ajá. No entiendo. Que a los demás les agarró la tarde, quiero decir. Oh, ejemplo, agarrar la tarde. Ajá. Um, de, um, they're late. They're late. Uh -huh. They're late every... Everybody. <laughs> yeah, everybody's late, you're right. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe... Yeah, very strange because by this time they're usually already connected. Yeah. So it's strange. Yeah, you're right. Well, we'll, we'll have we'll have to wait. We'll have to wait to see. You know. Huh? What? Sorry, I I I didn't hear you very well. Uh, okay. What what? What did you say? No, um, in WhatsApp, share, share or um, ah, they wrote connected. something in WhatsApp. Like Jorge, no, no, no. No, que si habían escrito algo al WhatsApp o algo, pero no, no había escrito más. No, I I don't see anybody writing anything. Jorge Connect and Christian. Huh? Mm? They have they have problems connect. Yeah, maybe they have some problems connecting you, right? It could be. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hello, Jorge. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. You? Good, good. I just a little bit cold, but but good. <laughs> Which is, I know it's very, it's nothing like it is in El Salvador. But you are, you, you was kind of sick uh, sometime. Ago. Oh, yeah, before the vacation. Yeah, I was sick. No, I'm, I'm fine now. Um, just a little bit of cough. That's yeah. it. But but I'm I'm fine now. Yeah. Thank you for asking. Yeah. Um the problem is that uh, most of the, the time it's cold there. Mm-hmm. The weather is very cha it, it changes a lot. Um so one moment it's hot. Well not hot, right? But but it's warm, then it, it's very cold. It's like free right now, for example, it's at night. Okay, let me see what, how much, it's a, It's five in the morning, right? So keep that in mind. Um, but, but there are forest station there. Yeah, but but the spring doesn't feel like spring right now. It just, it, it feels like, it, it feels like still like the end of winter. Um. So, oh. Okay, so right now it's it's nine degrees and it feels like seven degrees. But but during the day, supposedly, it's going to go up to 18 degrees. So yeah, but you know, the big difference. There's like like almost 10, like 10 degrees difference. Um and so that change is is um 
Like it's that not very good. Reason. Yeah. That is the reason of mm -hmm. God. Yeah, yeah. So sometimes it's like kind of like allergic, I think, or something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. But yeah. it's raining too. Sometimes it's raining. Yeah. Like yesterday was raining. It was raining. Yes. So there is a saying. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this. It says, a April showers brings me flowers. Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard of that expression? It says, no, but I understand. No, I have. Mm -hmm. kind of yeah, so April showers. So that means like the the um the rain, the rain from April is mm -hmm. what brings the flowers from me. Mm -hmm. so yeah um but i want to like because i have to I, i'm going to be leaving uh the country for a moment um and before i go i want to see that the the um the tulips um there's a you know there's um lots of like did you actually did you know that tulips are originally from turkey no I think that that uh, price on Netherlands or that it part of uh, Países Bajos. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The Netherlands. Yeah. Exactly. So, so the the Turkish, like the in during the Ottoman Empire, brought the tulip and the the tulips to Europe. So, but they're originally from Turkey. Um. So. Um, so there's like, it's, it's, it's a big thing here, like, because, you know, they're, they're first. They're at a, 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 a big field of, of tulips. Yeah, there are, um, there are many, many, um, like there's, a, well, here in Istanbul, there's a, well, you can find in front of the Hagia Sophia, um, a, you know, have you ever heard of the Hagia Sophia? No. no. Hagia Sophia is is, um, it's it's a mosque right now. It's a mosque, but it was originally uh, a cathedral. It was a cathedral, and when um, when the um, what's it called when when um, the Ottomans con uh, conquered uh, Constantinople, they changed they changed the the cathedral to a mosque. It was actually the biggest um, cathedral in all of Europe in that moment, and um, they turned into a mosque. Um, so the thing is that. Um, they, there's lots of tulips in front of the Hagia Sophia, and, um, they also plant them in, um, there's a park called Emiran, Ermi, Emirgan Park. Um, so... I, I, I imagine there are amazing views with that, uh, tulip, tulip plants. Yeah. Yeah, there are. Um, there, there are a lot of amazing views with the tulips. Um, let me just show you. Because the color are so, so intense. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Just give me a moment. I'm going to try to show you. Okay. Um. Let me see. Let 
me see if I can, if I can show it to you. Okay, there we go. It's better. Okay. Let me see, let me see. I'm going to just show you two, um, two of the of the um, of the pictures. It's pretty impressive. The field of the fields of tulip tulips. Yeah, yeah, they're pretty. They're pretty impressive. Like this is actually a park. This is a park, so let, let me show you the first part. Well, the first part. And there are see. there are many uses for the tulips. Uh, what do you mean uses? Uh, oh, uh, you mean like 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 that you can like eat them or something like that? Yes. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. I've never actually investigated about that. Okay, so I'm going to show you the first one. Can you guys see that? Uh, right now, yes. Wow. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So those are like, they they have these, um, yeah, they, they, it's, it's, it's amazing. Like, and the other one, let me see if I can show you. Can you see this one? We're seeing the first one. You're still seeing the first one. Okay, let me let me stop sharing. I'll share the other one. You see yeah. it? Mm -hmm. So this is um this is uh the park at Megan Park, um it's it's a huge park, um. And um, yeah, it's all like full of uh, tulips during this time. So I want to go. I want to go to the park and, and see them before before I go. And yeah. before the season of the tulips, and uh, what is on on that park, or is all the time tulips on that? No, park? no, no, no. Just it's basically tulips. It's just like April and part of May. And mm -hmm. after that, the park is. Um, well, I don't I, know how, well, I think it could have another type of flowers, but yeah, what happened with the space where the tulips are? Um, well, I went in June last year to that park and it was just green. It was just, it was all shades of green. <laughs> so, um, it was very nice. They had, it was like, um, there's waterfalls as well in the, in the park this waterfalls a pond a lake you know so it's it's nice you like you can go and um uh you, you can have a picnic there you can go and play um volleyball or what you know things like that you know so you, there's lots of things you can do at the park um but um yeah i don't i don't I don't think that there are like many, many flowers uh, just during the spring. And during the autumn, I'm I'm guessing that there's a lot of changes in color. Like the, the you know, from the leaves and everything. Yeah, so it, it must look beautiful in, in, in um, autumn too. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, well, by the way, we missed you, Jorge, yesterday. Yes, I was working. Oh, yesterday. you're working. Okay. Okay. All right. Working hard. That's good. It's good. Oh. Uh, but um, how was your day today? Today was, was pretty good. Uh, kind of interesting. Yeah. Because we are starting with a, with a new process to to get some 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 works mm -hmm. some activities that we need to to finish the, the project mm -hmm. 
Okay, nice. That's good. That's good. Excellent. How about your day, Jennifer? How was your day? Well, it was pretty busy as always. Um, mm. um but uh, yeah, today it um, I'm not working right now. <laughs> you are or you're not? No, no, no. I'm finished. Oh. That's what I connect at a couple of minutes later because I'm finishing something to and, and to be focused on the on the class. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I'm glad you were able to finish um your work. That's great. Hello, Romario. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Everyone. How are you? I'm good. I'm better good. than yesterday. <laughs> oh, good, good, good. Excellent. You're looking all intellectual there with your glasses. Yeah, yeah, they're, <laughs> they're new. They're new. Yeah. Ah, okay. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. So it, it, it takes a little bit of time to get used to the glasses when they're new. Right. Yeah, but but it's good. It's good for for your the protection of your eyes to be in front of the computer. So when you have yeah. glasses, that's they good. Have, they, these these places have uh, blue light filter. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. Blue filter. If that works, but <laughs> so yeah, actually, it's, yeah, it's, that's it's recommended. Yeah, that's the blue filter is exactly for for the screens. Uh, any 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 screen like cell phones, you know, TV, computer, all of those. So yeah, that's good that you're you're wearing that. Excellent. Very, very good. Hello, Christia. Good evening, Miss. Good evening. How are you? Um fine. Uh kind of tired, but but fine. Yeah? You're tired? Yeah. Why? What happened? Yeah. Um Today I I wake I woke wake up uh, uh woke up? very early. I woke wow. up very early, yes. Um and I don't like to, to wake up early. But I have a busy day, a a busy, really busy day in my work. So a few minutes I arrived to my house and and nothing. That's all. Oh, okay. Okay. Good. Good. Well, um, we appreciate that you you connected. You know, and even though you're tired, but that's that's great. Excellent. Okay. Um, and Wendy, are you there? Hello, Wendy. Hello. Yes, teacher. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. A yeah. little bit, a little, uh, a little tired. A little tired. Uh, yes. Why? What happened? I, I work at six six thirty p.m. You finish work at six thirty. Finish, finish my work. Yes. Mm, okay. Six, six, very, very yeah. It's late for me. <laughs> yeah, no, you're right. You're right. It is quite late. Yeah. Well, we're glad that you connected nonetheless. Good. And hello, Suleima. Sylvia Suleima, are you there? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Um, very well, teacher. And um, I work so I work very late. Oh. But uh, I am driving to my house. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah, I was gonna ask you about the the camera. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um. Okay, uh, all right, well, well guys, what we're gonna do right now is we're going to be uh, taking attendance so we can start the class. Okay.
Um, so let me start. Okay, Cristia. Present. Excellent. Uh, Delbert. No, Delbert. Okay, Diana. Diana, no, okay. Um, uh, Jennifer, Elizabeth? Yes, I'm here. Okay, wonderful. Uh, Jorge Humberto? Present teacher. Uh, Manuel Antonio? Manuel Antonio? Okay, Maria Elena? Maria Elena Guadalupe? Mario Ernesto? Mario Ernesto? Okay, uh, Mario Jose? Mario Jose? Um, Norma Carolina? Norma Carolina? Eh, Romario? Present. Okay, great. Suleima, Silvia Suleima? Present. Excellent. Uh, is it possible for you to turn on the camera just for the attendance? Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, it's dark, but it's okay. Wonderful. We can see you. Thank you. Thank you, Suleyma. Okay. Uh, Susana Beatriz? Not here. And Wendy? Present teacher. Wonderful. Okay. All right, guys. Okay, um, so guys, I wanted to mention something. I know that the majority that are here, just give me a moment. Sorry guys, I I had a little cough attack, but hopefully I'll be okay. I have a, a cough drop right now. Okay, so anyways, um what I was um mentioning <clears throat> excuse me. So what I was mentioning was that I know that the majority of you guys that are here um today are always connect on time. And you're always in class, which is great. Um, I wanted to remind you guys that uh, this course is, a, like we talked about at the beginning of the course, it's a very small group. It's smaller than what we were supposed to have. Originally, we were supposed to have 20 people. So um, Insafor has given us special permission to continue having this course open. 
as long as we have everybody connecting. The problem is that we haven't been having everybody connecting. Um, if you notice in the last few days, uh, many people aren't connecting and that's gonna cause a bit of a problem because if we're not connecting, it's so a purpose probably not going to be able to continue um, opening the course. So um, I want you guys to be very conscious of that. So always try to connect. Like, for example, um, Suleyma is, um, you know, she's driving her car. She can't participate. But she is connected, right? She's, uh, um, you know, she's listening to the class and everything. So um, try to, as much as you can, try to connect. So even if you have inconveniences, especially now that we're we're coming to like we're like in the middle of the course, um, pretty much we yeah we're exactly in the middle of the course. So remember, you need at least eighty percent of the course to be able to pass. Uh, I mean, like eighty percent of the attendance for you guys to pass. So it's going to be very important for you guys to um to be in class, okay? So to connect, be in class, try to participate as much as possible and try to be connected the whole class. Don't don't just be connected like, you know, one hour. Try to be, try if possible to connect at eight o'clock and disconnect, you know, at 10 o'clock. Um, yeah, so if, if possible, you know, if you can't, but, you know, try to at least connect as soon as possible. Okay. Is there anybody having like like serious problems with that? Like any inconveniences? Not the chat. So everybody's okay with it? Yes, the chat. Okay, okay. I'm going to write um, in the chat just uh, later on um, that, you know, just a reminder so that everybody connects. Because as I said before, the people that are here are usually the people that always connect and, and, and are usually here on, on time. And there's a few that aren't. So those few are probably the ones that are not here right now. So just as a reminder, I'll just going to um, write in the chat, just a reminder that, that we need to everybody connecting as much as possible so that we can ha continue having these, these um, classes open for you guys. You know, you guys are, the, the idea for you is to learn, right? So um, the more you connect, obviously, the more you're gonna learn. So, um, okay, so. Just after having said that, we're going to start the class. I'm going to share the PowerPoint. It is okay if you need to take a little bit of water. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm, I have a cough drop right now, but I'll, I'm probably going to go get some water in a little bit. Thank you. Okay, so let's see. There we go. Okay, you guys can see the PowerPoint? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Wonderful. Yes. Okay, so this is um, course the English for Work program. It's the Advanced Module 2. Your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. The date is April 12, 2023, and it's date number 13. Okay, so what we're going to do right now is we're actually going to be talking about this vocabulary here. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Okay, there it is. Um, So we're going to be looking at this vocabulary bias deliverables, 
to be drawn to and shareholders. So I want to divide the group. Um, we don't have very many right now. Let me see how many people are there are. There's seven. So I can divide the class into two groups. Okay, we'll divide the class. Yeah, we'll divide you guys into two groups. And I want you guys to um, be able to find out the vocabulary. Um, what does each one of these things mean? And in your own words, right? So don't just get the information from the from you know Google, right? Or you know, just like straight from the internet. Try to do it in your own words. And also try to um, give an example so that we are able to understand it better. Okay. Any questions so far? We no? have to investigate for that words. Yeah, exactly. Investigate the words, um, get a definition, but not, not a definition from the internet. <clears throat> Try to make your own definition according to the, the way you, you investigate. And try to also give an example. Okay. All right. So I am going to um, share. I know you guys already have this, but just in case, I'm going to share the the this um, screenshot with you. So just give me a moment. <clears throat> and I'm going to divide the class. Um, okay, so I said two groups. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Okay, so I'm going to give you, um, I think you should be able to do this in about 12, 13 minutes, okay? So let's open the rooms right now. <clears throat> Wendy, are you there? Wendy, are you there? Wendy, 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 are you there? Wendy? Welcome, Delbert. So, yes, is the action to to decide for this. Ah, okay. Uh, okay. I, I don't know. The the maybe is like. Tendence, for example, when you are in in by selecting the the president, for example, you are you have the opportunity to vote for Republicans or de Democrats, mm -hmm. and you you are like uh, decide to vote 
for Republicans. Or maybe it's a synonym of, of shoes. Sorry? Maybe it could be a synonym of shoes or decided. Uh, or decided. I, I consider it's like, a, it's like your tendons. I don't know if tendency no. is correct. It's mm. to, to have a preference or preference or a preference or, or the or the contrary to some let me check in the internet somebody, yeah. I, I consider somebody. is something like preference to be to be in favor of someone or someone's or something uh, or to be against someone or something because because of some reason uh, yes so so you are in favor of of one of them no? the, okay uh -huh. I, I have I one like preference sorry what i consider is something like preference okay i have one um definition on the internet and is the prejudice in favor of or against one thing person or group compared with another usually in a way considered to be unfair for example i have uh, for example we have one sentence and is there was evidence of bias against foreign applicants and this is one of the of the example Yes, I think it's, it's when you compare two options and you need to decide for one. For one of that. Mm -hmm. But it's something yeah. like your preference. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, like the example that you said of, of the when you choose a president mm -hmm. or something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. I saw I Manuel want to, to share something. I, yeah. I, I, I just uh, start the, the, the mm -hmm. class, but uh, I, I think the word is bias. Yeah. Yes. Ah, okay. In once, uh, some days ago, I it was uh, searching some information about this, this topic. But in the dictionary, uh, I I found a particular it's a particular tendency 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 like yes like a, a an inclination uh, on 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 one people on one thing and also is uh, like a feeling or opinion. Mm -hmm. right? Like, like you said, it's a favoritism. I, I like tendons. Tendons. Yes, yes. Or, or, or also, it is a, a, a some a some preconceived. Or, or in sometimes it's unreason. Yes, because it's, it's something like when you are talking about choose the president, your during your mind know what is your your tendency yes yes it, it's a it's a it's a big uh, uh, definition mm -hmm. but, but uh, all you all you you said is is a correct because uh, also this this word have uh, many synonyms, right? Yes, uh, I heard you you say inclination, but I'm not yeah. sure if if that's correct. Yes, also favoritism, mm -hmm. inclination. Okay, the tendons, tendons, tendons. Yes, tendons sounds sounds better. Preconceived idea. 
Mm -hmm. Okay. That's that's good. I think I there think were... this word uh -huh. involve involve uh, ethics. Ethics in, in, in workplace. There yeah. were there were another okay. three words, but I, I think yeah. <laughs> what is okay. the next word? Where are your where are your glasses? <laughs> I used to I, I used to see you with your glasses. <laughs> Do <laughs> or not? Christian Who? or me? No, Christian. Christian. Ah, oh, my glasses. Oh. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know. Where is my glasses? <laughs> <laughs> we are looking for your glasses, right? Yeah. <laughs> glasses are lost. <laughs> Okay. Right One. now I'm I'm kind of cieguita. Hello group. Hi teacher. Uh, what happened? Hello. Oh, Hello. Everybody's so quiet here. What happened? Um, we're researching. Okay. Um, would it be okay if you guys can talk about it while you're researching? Like you can um, discuss it together. Like you can say, oh, I, I found this information. What do you think? Things like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I recently came in and Jennifer uh, shared, shared the, the work that, uh, that we investigated the, the meaning. Mm, okay. Good. Good. So, good. Uh, and uh, 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 Mario Ernesto, are you there? Mario Ernesto? No? So, so guys, I, I would like to have a, a, a group discussion. I would like to hear you guys discussing the information. Okay, I don't know if someone else has um, one of the vocabulary. Uh, well, I, I, I just two meaning for, for the bias. Mm-hmm. I own I, I I found the nation or something. I don't know if I if I write. I have heard this word but um related to um artists that is said is your bias. But the meaning that I found is that it's an inclination. Is yeah. that correct? Inclination? Yeah. That in inclination or an, an a specific opinion for someone or, or, or something. I think that is the, if I don't want to, to, to read the whole definition, that's what I understand. I have it. Uh... I have it uh, the same meaning too. The other one is uh, uh, the Is when I have to uh, to deliver something uh, that your job 
uh, required. Yeah. In, in a project, maybe. Maybe a document, uh, a list, or something like that. Yeah, I, I uh, things that you need to do in your work and something that you need to yeah to deliver as as a result of 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 a of a, a work. To be the wrong to. With me. That word doesn't exist. Doesn't exist in in in, in dictionary.com. Mm -hmm. Just uh, without s deliverable. But. Uh, in resume is whatever product that, that you can deliver. Yes, deliver. Yes, something to be a thing to be able to deliver. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. The and next the next word is uh, to be drove to. Drown. Drown. Drown too. Uh, to be also um, the meaning of drown is like dibujar, no? Drown too, to be drowned too. Is a yes. To be drawn to. It's related. It to sounds to me like to be forced to do something. Drown. To drown too. To be attracted uh, or see. somewhere drawn to be drawn. Yes. It's something like be attracted by something. So it's like yes, uh, a, a yes. To... yes, this is the touristic attractions or something like that it is uh, when you uh, like the the previous uh, bias is uh, when you like when you have favoritism for for someone or for for something okay is is your preference for something Okay, to be drowned too. But the the word that that sounds better is to be attracted by something. Yes, yes, yes. Someone or whatever. Okay, and the last one. Shareholders, shareholders, all units, shareholders, share shareholders, holders. It sounds similar to stakeholder. <laughs> shareholders. Yes. Uh, the meaning is something like. Uh, a group of persons that are the owner of some, some uh, a company, for example. The owners. Also, it refers to when 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 people give some some money to. Uh, To invest in, 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 in buy to, to equipment to, to holders. Um, normally, it refers the 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 the, uh, the 
the owners of from from but, ex company but it's about a group of person that yes. that uh invest. Are, that are yes that invest in something and so they are all of them are the owners of the owners of course and and also uh, they for example in a big big company uh, there are many shareholders right yes because they yes. they 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 in, invest uh uh among money to do to do more and also to to have the 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 market or the bigger market right yes is is like for example the 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 ads about amazon that they offer to you that with two hundred dollars you can be yes shareholders yes this is a, a this is a a, a good a good uh, example in this case shareholders okay sounds interesting shareholders but just holders what is the meaning of holders holders Yes. Holders, uh, 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 holders is the the main uh, uh, is the main. I think, I think it's like a proveedor. No holders. Yeah. No, shareholder uh, in español es el accionista. Holders son las acciones. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's why I said. Uh, is the main product or main activity in in in, the, in this in, in this type of of a merchandise or or market or or activity to to buy a, I, I was yes. was thinking about the relation these four words because in other occasions they are they are like related or similar but in this case uh, I, I don't find something between oh. them to, to, to be familiar or about familiar. what word what word holder or shareholder I'm talking about the four words. Shareholders. The four words don't have something similar the in the meaning. The as as in other days, we, we have discussed words that are, are in a way related, but in this case, I, I don't find something. Sorry, could you please repeat the, the word? Talking in general. Huh? Ah, so sure. Yeah. Yes, yes. You, you, you are right, uh, uh, Romario. Shares, shares is the is the shares is the uh, the the las acciones. No, I think that Romario want to say that the four words don't have uh, any relator between them. Oh, okay, holders is the the is the is the noun of of. Uh, that you put uh, the wealth of people, holders, and share is the... The, the, the action. Or, or <laughs> the... Hi, group. Are you working together? We discussed the We have finished. You have finished. Yes. Okay. Perfect. I will take you to the main room in a moment. Then.
Okay, do I have everybody back or the majority? Okay, all right guys, so um, let's talk about the first one. So the first word that we have is bias. What do you understand by bias? First, what do you understand? And then you can give me examples. What do you understand by bias? Anybody? OK. Go ahead. Go ahead, Wendy. <laughs> No, only word uh, preference, inclination. Preference or what do you say? Inclination or inclination. Preference. Inclination. Okay. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. And the rest I, for you? Mm -hmm. I, I believe is like the tendency. Is an idea that you you previous to do something you that you you know that for example when you are choose for your president you you know uh, if you want to vote for Republicans or Democrats for example mm -hmm. so is is the, the the best word that I I look for this is tendency or preference. Maybe that one. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, any other ideas? Teacher, is uh, also is a is an inclination for for someone or when you when you you have a, a feeling but but uh, especially for uh, for for one that is uh, preconceived preconceived okay yes preconceived okay good good any other ideas i would say not exactly Similar to a fraud. Similar to what did you say? Fraud. 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 Okay, in one sense, why why is it similar to fraud? Uh, because uh, you make a decision or an action uh, being not impartial. I don't know. Okay, is bias being impartial? Or is it being no. partial? Being partial. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, for example, in a contest, it would be a fraudulent thing if you make win somebody instead of the one that, uh, how do you say, merecer? Um, um uh, deserves deserves <laughs> uh, you may win somebody that doesn't deserve because you have a prejudice onto someone else that deserves deserves mm -hmm. it. so in, in that way yeah very good and and not necessarily that you have a prejudice but uh, it can also be a favoritism as well Right, so either way, either you have a prejudice against somebody or you're in, you have a favoritism for somebody. That's uh, bias. And, and actually bias is not just for people. You can be biased about anything, um, not just people. Um, so to give you an, to give an example, um, maybe you um, you have a bias, um, to which which product is better? Why? Because maybe you worked for a certain company, 
to your bias, right? So if you work for a certain company, maybe you think, ah, this product is better. Or you, um, I don't know, um, you think about a certain product and you say, ah, this product is better because, um, you know, it's from this country. You know, like, so that that's also a bias. Right? Like so, could be also uh, having a, an inclination for something that has no reason. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Just uh, you like or dislike something and maybe you don't have an explanation of what yeah. you don't you don't like or dislike yeah exactly specific. yeah so, yeah so there's no justification for your um uh for your like that could also be a bias right yes you just feel inclined to, to something yeah and and everybody has biases right i mean let's let's be honest everybody does um even if you try to be impartial there's always going to be things that are going to um to affect or to um to incline your your taste or your your favor towards something right so that's that's only natural so you just you just use the that word when you are comparing something uh you Yes, we pretty much um a bias is chose something. Yeah, a bias is inclining towards a certain thing more than another. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I found an example. Person. I found an example, but um yes, it, it says the newspaper gave a very biased report of the meeting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. And that I think that that, that is a, an inclination of the of the news. Uh, if, for example, if they are from the here in El Salvador, of or left or right, and mm -hmm. if uh, and that could and that, as I understand on that example, that mm -hmm. you are have an inclination of on a specific, uh, ideals, ideals. Ideals, yeah, yeah, exactly, uh, or ideologies, uh huh, very good, yeah, exactly. So maybe the reporter or the paper or the newspaper itself has a certain bias. So what they're going to report is going to be um, reporting to um, support that bias. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very good, excellent. All right, next word that we have here. Uh, let's see the word. I lost it. Oh, deliver uh, deliverables. Let's talk about deliverables. What are deliverables? What do you understand by deliverables? Uh, deliverables is related to products or things that you can deliver. Mm -hmm. That's right. So, um, is the action it, of do that? It's not the actions. It's actually it's the, the nouns. Result. It's, it's the an, result. yeah. Okay. It's anything that can be delivered, right? Now these can these things can be objects, or they can also be um, service products, right? For example, documents um, like digital documents are not products but they're also deliverable so because uh, a document can be delivered there has to be tangible things it could be tangible or untangible or sorry intangible but um a, a, anything that that you you can deliver okay oh. Yeah. So like I said, like, for example, a document, uh, uh, you know, a virtual, like a, a digital document is not something that's tangible. You can't touch it, but it's still something that you can deliver. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Okay. A, any other examples of what a deliverable are? 
Teacher, for example, uh, is uh, related uh, something something that can be done. Uh, like a realistic expectation. Mm -hmm. I I found I found a uh, one example, and said the corporation says that making a profit this year is a deliverable. deliverable. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. It's a realistic um, expectation. Realistic expectation. Yes. But in this case, the the profit is something that is intangible, but you can deliver it. You can okay. deliver profit, yes. right? So um, if I'm a salesperson um, uh, and I, um, I, I can, I can deliver uh, to my, uh, to my superiors, this profit when I am selling the products. Yeah, so anything that you can deliver in any way is something that you can deliver is to give to someone. Okay, anything else? Okay, all right. Um, guys, if, if you could help me out with your cameras, there are a few people that, that have well your cameras off and the, it's like half of the class so if you guys can help me off with your uh, with your cameras it'd be wonderful okay um all right next question the next one is uh to be drawn to what does it mean to be drawn to What do you understand? Okay. Mm -hmm. For example, teacher in a company when when realize the the election uh, to president mm -hmm. in a company, for example, mm -hmm. uh, there are there is a a votation. Is it correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, there are members um, of the, uh, of the, 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 the company, the, the, the workers, um, and, and when, when somebody, mm -hmm. uh, again, uh, have a incline an inclination for the idea or for uh, the promises mm -hmm. uh, that people uh, gave, uh, I think uh, it's uh, it's uh, when you when, when I to be drawn to for X project mm -hmm. for X uh, benefit. I don't know something like that. Okay. Okay, very good. Anything else? Sure. Uh, uh, well, to draw to maybe is a uh, actions to attract something. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm thinking uh, like a uh, marketing department uh, make uh, make connections or or, or plans. To attract uh, customers, uh, in, uh, making a, a advertising, mm -hmm. or, or or sharing uh, behaviors of the company, mm -hmm. benefit of the company, and, uh, and this action uh, can attract uh, uh, customers. Customers. Okay. And maybe uh, the the human resource department mm -hmm. attract employees, new employees, uh, uh, offering uh, more benefits. Uh, uh, shows the 
uh, the the ethical codes that rules the the company something like that and and attract uh, new employees or 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 is or, or make a state the the the, the employees uh, the actual employees yeah okay good all right anything else any other ideas Wendy, are you there? Ah, okay, good. Yes, Is... teacher. Yes, teacher. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, we we lose you uh, once in a while with the camera. Okay. Um, what do you understand be by be drawn to? Wendy, what do you understand by be drawn to? Wendy, we can't hear you. Your your microphone's off. Sorry, I've been okay. to be drawn to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. Under wait. Um. Is ser atraído. Okay, uh, but in for English. For example, yeah. <laughs> for example, a uh, I like or a customer like a. Uh, a product or or company or okay, where, where else um is attractive for for the customer or for uh, sell the product or consume how do you say how do you say consume yeah consume 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 the product or or contract service okay. it's attractive for the customer in the good. product or the service or the company yeah, yes. okay. yeah. very good yeah excellent excellent very very good okay i think we've got that and the last one the last one is what's this one? oh yeah shareholder what does it mean, shareholder? What do you understand by a shareholder? Uh, in the in the in the group teacher, we talk about a share shareholder, like a group of persons that are owners of a company, for example. Mm -hmm. and and all of them are shareholder, shareholders of the company. Okay, good. So shareholder is 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 a several person that are owners maybe uh, mm -hmm. from something. Right. Okay. Anything else? Any any other ideas that you guys want to add? What are many? Teacher is uh, um, an owner or one or more shares in a in a company mm -hmm. or in a in a project. Okay, good, good, good. Um, be yes, a, a person or a group of person that provides financial support to a company. Okay. So, what do you mean by financial support? Can you explain? Oh, uh, they provide well, could be the investors of the company. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, so they invest in the company, and therefore they have, we can say, a portion of the company, right? In fact, a sh um share a sh a share, it means uh when you divide something into portions, right? So a shareholder is somebody that has a portion of a company, uh, whether it's because they inherited it or they also invested in it financially. 
Mm -hmm. Very good. All right. So I heard while I was um, visiting the groups, I heard somebody say something about um, that they, these words don't have very much in common. What do you guys think? Are these like random words or do they have something in common? Sorry, could, you, could, you, could you repeat? Could you repeat? Yeah, could yeah. you repeat the, 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 of the question, please? Yes, yes, of course. Okay, so the words that we have been discussing, right? So uh, the words are bias, deliverables, to be drawn to, shareholders, all of those words. Do they have anything in common or are they just like separate random words? Uh, teacher, I think the all of them are uh, are uh, in, involved in a in a company uh, because uh, the the all words in the definitions uh, have uh, many uh, many things in, in in common, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay. bias deliverables for okay. me yes all right okay any other ideas it could be a specific interest in something mm -hmm. related to the company mm -hmm. okay good anything else in the words of marketing Marketing. Okay. And anything else? Any other ideas? Not that any of them are wrong. I'm just asking what do you guys think? So what is the topic of unit two? Because these words are from unit two. So what's yes. the topic? Yes, it should. What's the topic of unit two? Ethics in management. Mm -hmm. Ethics in management. So what do these words have to do with ethics in management? I think all the work that, that we are studying today uh, is is referred to manage uh, a company. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, good. Um, all right. So how is ethics related to bias? Uh, for example, teacher, uh, ethics and and the and the term bias is uh, I think a, a bias. Uh, oh my God! Uh, it is two ways because because if I I I, I feel a inclination for do uh, for someone or for some project or for something. If, if, if this is an is an unethical, I think is a is a wrong doing, right? But if if bias may may be is an inclination for for uh, the the counterpart or good practices, right? It's an ethic. Maybe okay. it's a, 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 a bad project, for example, or 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 or, or some bribe. But uh, for me, it's related uh, bias and ethics, ethics in management. So, is being biased ethical or unethical? Teacher, <laughs> I think that depends is, is, is on the. <laughs> I think that depends on the manner of the way that yes. you that your inclination is, because you can have you could be 
you could have an inclination of something, as Manuel said, but that not necessarily be a, a right way to do the things inside the company. Okay, so that, and that that's would an be answer. unethical. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. But do you agree? The rest of you, do you agree or you disagree? I'm agree. You agree? Okay. All right. Um, remember, remember, guys. Just I, I wanted to mention with this word, it's uh to agree, right? To agree. So you can say I agree. Okay. Or I don't agree. Okay. So what do you guys think? Do you, do you agree? Do you agree with that? That it depends? Agree. You agree? Okay. Well, I don't. You don't agree? Ah, okay. I think All right. that from the first, if you have a preference or something, you're not being impartial. That's, that's unethical in the first. Okay. okay. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. Now we continue in this unit to, to we, we we're talking about ethics, right? We're talking about how to be ethical. So let's talk about certain characteristics of being ethical. Um, please tell me if um you guys can see the PowerPoint. Just a second. There's a spelling mistake here. I just noticed. Let's. Okay, there we go. All right, so let's talk about um, these characteristics. How do these characteristics promote um, ethics, attendance, character, teamwork, appearance, attitude, productivity, organizational skills, communication, cooperation, and respect. Do you understand all of these words? Yes, no. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yeah? You understand all of these characteristics? Yes. Yes. Yeah? I know the meaning of attendance, but how we can apply attendance to ethical? Mm, that's a good question. That's a very good question. And that's exactly what you're going to be discussing in your group. Okay, so how does attendance your time. how does attendance help with ethics? Okay. All right. So I'm going to send you this PowerPoint so that you guys can um, use it in your groups. And that's exactly what I want you to discuss. You're going to be discussing um how um these how these um, um, these words, oh, sorry, these, yeah, this, these characteristics um, help to promote um, the, um, the ethics in the workplace, okay? Is, this is specifically for the workplace, okay? Do you understand what you're gonna be doing? Yes, I do. Yeah? Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to be opening the groups. Um, just a second. Okay. All right. I'm going to give you about 10 minutes to talk about it. Okay. And I'm opening the groups right now.
a workplace. Okay, I I consider attendance related to Eric is about to be honest with your company and com and uh, be be engage with the schedule maybe the hour of you need to be in, in there the hour to go out okay okay and all the days that you need to be there stay in the in the workplace we normally say the time not the hour the time mm -hmm. okay yeah okay. you're welcome Okay, what about Romario, Manuel? Attendance. Yes. I think uh, in, in company or in a, talking about uh, ethics in management, but in company, work and attendance is important because um, it's like your responsibility to be there where, where you have to be or at the time you have to be and well the, the things you're responsible of I think that that's the importance of the attendance. Yes. What about you, Manuel? Uh, uh, normally, this uh, this term it refers to a uh, a uh, uh, a concurrency. Uh, of people uh, to some place or some activity, right? Is uh, uh, the related to group of people in a, in a company or in a in a meeting, right? Uh, I found this 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 meaning of attendant, but is related to a schedule or the time that you need to complete in the company or uh, ethic behavior when you attend us on time in a meeting for example okay sorry if you, if um, my family is very very busy Okay. I guess it's something related to uh, being, I mean, something related with the, with the schedules on the work uh, to uh, to stick to the to the schedule to to be uh, on the job during the the work day to be when on the job when you have to do and and don't do some something or that is not related to the work during the the work time. Yes. yes. Well, when we were on time, the project, uh, you mean? Uh, I, I mean, I, I guess, or I, as I understand that the, mean, the meaning of attendance or the or this written attendance from the ethic is when when you uh, comply with the 
with the work schedules, when you be on time, uh, when you are on, on yes. the work. Okay. A good point. A good point. Uh, and what about character? I think we we have to we have to uh, control the character or, or, or bad character. Control. If, if you don't control the character, uh, for example, for example, angry, uh, you you, you can uh, uh, be more uh, less ethical because. You can insult other person or, 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 or say something bad about the person. I I, I relation the, this this word with the, with this ethic uh, behavior. What do you think? Uh, yes, like uh, you say that have a medical behavior, say right? Yes. Guys, yeah, maybe related. Uh, yeah. To. Of the uh, acting with or or treat the the persons with with respect. Yes, we have to do a a a good character to 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 act the or speak with other people uh, with respect, yeah. Yeah, even when, when we are maybe discussing something, yes, sometimes uh, we treat the another person without respect and most of the time is or yeah most of the time is when you are in a position above than the other person sometimes usually that we treat the person without respect I guess that that the okay. Um, what about Wendy? Or improve your your daily routine or your work um every single day, but I I don't know I don't know. Organization, mm. but that is more related how the company. I think how the company it can be organized. Okay. How a company and is 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 organized, and maybe some organization are more organized than others. Than other ones, and that. Could be related to organizational skills. I don't know. Mm. Could be. Yeah, the way how how the the way like the organization is organized. Mm -hmm. Okay. The next one is communication. Um, 
um, communication would be that the, 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 the messages are clear and delivered to the right person. Yes. And also I think um, uh, is when you have a uh, good relations with your coworkers or even with your your you need to communicate something to your manager or your boss. Uh, you need to do in a good way, in a clear way. Yes. Yes, express the ideas. Mm -hmm. And the comparison yeah. is a similar if when you work like a teamwork. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And respect is. Uh, respect, I think, is involved in attitude, attendance, character. I think is related with. Yeah. Because well, in, in this case, I'm not sure. Sometimes people tend to say that. Uh, work. You have to look good, clean, etc. But. Also, uh, it is important to have in mind that appearance doesn't define somebody. But you, do you do you think uh, the appearance is related with the ethics? No. It, it, uh, if you have pre, pre, prejudice, uh, you could say that yes, but uh, I think that it doesn't ha it has it doesn't have. Uh, but to but do. imagine, for example, if you have to to close a a project, for example, and you have a meeting with important uh, investment, and you. Your appearance is, is like uh, using a, a short and uh, that's, different. that's different, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, not always uh, <laughs> it has to do with ethics, or 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 in that in this case uh, with ethics, I think we shouldn't uh, mix things. Uh, I, I, yeah. in in this in this world, uh, there are many definitions for appearance, but I I think it, it uh, refers an act or appearance. For example, in when when there are problems, for example in in some place engagement to engage customer oh okay right. yeah <laughs> sorry don't worry sorry. don't worry <laughs> step sorry by step <laughs> <laughs> no it's bad it's bad day <laughs> sorry um okay. Um, at and, and, and team work okay. is the other word. Okay. In team okay. work. What, what, what about team work, uh, Mario? Team work is, is for example, is, um, in the school or in the university. Yeah. I, I, um, I read. No. Um, I. Teach. Teach. Uh, work. Work. Together. Work. Team work. In in team. No, mm -hmm. only one person. In work. Eh, trabajo en equipo. 
o equipo de trabajo? Mm, por ejemplo, eh, in a big, uh, no, in, in a companies, uh, big companies, eh, the company has eh, many, many employees in team, team work, for example, eh, a team work for sales, a team work for different, different departments or different eh, goals or objectives. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And how do you think? Yeah. Uh, in this, uh, I just want to say something to Randy. It's, it's like uh, the something that we do on these work groups, trying to work together in order to for the same goal, in order to learn something, or or in order to improve our English uh, skills. Uh, that's a uh, uh, stick to, to the meaning of, of thing work, working together to to reach the goal that we put on on uh, on, on our... right. I, I think. Hello, Silvia Suleyma, are you there? No? Hey guys, do I have everybody back? I think I may be missing a few people. Okay. All right, let's talk about this. Um, okay, so let's talk about the first one, attendance. How does attendance help with ethics? Any ideas? Teacher, mm -hmm. uh, I, 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 I think um, this characteristics is, uh, is related uh, the act to take, to take care of, for example, oh, uh, I, I have problems with uh, the the shipment. This is an example, the shipment. Uh, but when I when was looking for help, when I I I search uh, or are looking for my boss, mm -hmm. they. 
they attend me. They take care of, for, for, for me, for me, uh, for my, for my worry, for uh, my, my, my feeling, I don't know. Okay. When, when, when somebody, when someone take care of something or people. Okay, okay, good. Um, yeah, you that that's a very good characteristics. You're right. Now, what what do we mean by attendance? Can someone? I don't explain? know if, if related to being the in 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 the in a place, or is related to something else. No, you you are right. Yes. What what? So what does it mean? What is yeah, attendance? It, is to be yeah the the meaning is that attendance is to be in a place and attendant attending for example a meeting attendance attending to a public event attending mm -hmm. yeah um different events mm -hmm. from sure. the company right or, exactly or could be related to be support for or something, or to help some people, maybe support for your boss, or your boss help some, or provide some support to you. Um, okay, L let me explain something very important. In English, attend is not the same as in Spanish, atender. Mm -hmm. Um, like in English, um, atender, like the way you're thinking is yes. like assist, help, mm -hmm. um, but attendance, um, yes, it's exactly, it, it means to be present in a place or an event. Okay. So attendance, like for example, you have to have an 80% attendance in this class. It means that you have to be in the class for 80% of the class. Yeah, that, that's attendance. Does that make sense? But yes, teacher, but uh, I think, I think uh, in ethics, Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's, yes, it's related, but uh, I was uh, searching uh, information, mm -hmm. and and I and I found one one apart for take care of. That's why I I I I, I said uh, because uh, when you, for example, when you attend related to to assist right uh, like you said uh, or definition uh, I think it's a it's a it's a good example that promotes ethics in workplace but attendance yes for sure also uh, promotes ethics in a workplace um yeah um So, so okay so um although that's true that it's 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 good to to help and everything but um yeah attendance we're, we're talking about um uh, being at a specific place yes. yeah yeah the, the, so the other one would be um um i, I think you're 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 thinking of in attendance. In attendance, that would be that would be like to help someone. Yeah, um, but just attendance itself, it means to be in a place. Yes. Okay. All right. Good. Okay. Character. How does character help? Um, How is that related to ethics?
Character. What is character? Oh, this is part of your behavior mm -hmm. in any situation. Mm -hmm. um, is real, uh, with with ethic uh, behaviors uh, is is important because many characters are uh, there are different kind of characters mm -hmm. and maybe uh, one kind of character is is not appropriate for 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 a company. Right. If you have a, a uh, a, a bad character like uh, angry all the time mm -hmm. you can try with uh, customers or people mm -hmm. you, you you don't you can uh, be a leader for the people right very good something okay. like that very good yeah so very good so the way you act right so if um you get angry easily right um or you're very smiley all the time that's your character okay good teamwork how is that related to ethics teamwork mm -hmm. is for example uh, work not only uh only one person mm -hmm. uh, is work with other other uh, partner right. or other employee. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So 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 what does that have to do with do with with ethics? You can okay. you can say if you have a good teamwork, the mm -hmm. environment of in your company mm -hmm. is is a is a is a good one. And you can be more motivate motivate to do mm -hmm. something, mm -hmm. and also you you are confident that your uh, partners mm -hmm. are in the in the same way that that you want to do. Good, yeah, exactly. Very good. What about appearance? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yes, uh, um, uh, I have. Uh, a point uh, about teamwork. Uh, I think it's uh, the capability uh, people have to work focus in the in the same goal. Mm -hmm. uh, working with the best behavior, mm -hmm. right? And what? How do you, how do you say lograr? Achieve. Achieve. Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh, to achieve uh, benefits uh, in personal or, or in group. Okay. Individually or in group. Okay. Individual, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Excellent. What about appearance? What does that have to do with ethics? We discussed with Christia that that we were not sure about if the appearance or is and the the image of the company mm -hmm. or to show uh in uh, how how we can um show a public or or, or the or the or the image that we show and obviously that is 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 it's correct okay very good very good okay anything else teacher i, I mm -hmm. was uh, uh, can i say uh, i was looking for information mm -hmm. okay uh, a, a, a good a good example for mm -hmm. appearance the mm -hmm. Uh, that Jennifer said is a is a is a, a good meaning, but I I found also the appearance is when someone uh, assist right or help uh, some some someone 
in in a specific situation. Uh, like for example, uh, uh, I I was uh, thinking when you have a problem mm -hmm. in your in your work, but when you uh, when you need help, uh, oh, almost uh, where you 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 don't you don't have help, or you 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 don't found help, but. Uh, so so then somebody said tell you hey yeah uh, may I help you mm -hmm. what is your problem and, and you 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 can say hey you appearance in the in the in the right time thank you for example oh appearance. okay to to you're talking about appear to appear somewhere appear. okay okay sure that that's that's um, valid as well yeah okay good okay. all right guys it would be related mm -hmm. to presence the presence yeah mm -hmm. the yeah presence. yes presence mm -hmm. in, the, in the right time <laughs> yeah very good yeah excellent okay we will continue discussing the rest mm -hmm. of the characteristics uh, when we um tomorrow okay because unfortunately we have come to the end of our class so we're gonna be um stopping there um let me just take attendance before we continue so i have uh christia present okay very good and uh do i have uh delbreth okay good uh, do I have Diana? Diana? No. And do I have Jennifer? Yes, I'm here. Okay, good. And Jorge? Present. Okay, excellent. Manuel? Manuel. Present. Bye. Okay. Maria Elena? Maria Elena? Mario Ernesto? Present teacher. Okay. Um, Present teacher. All right, wonderful. Uh, do you have your camera? Okay, is there any problems with the camera? Mario, Mario Ernesto? Mario Ernesto? Okay, Mari Jose. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, Norma Carolina. No. Um, Romario. Romario. He sent a, a, a message in the chat. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, Suleima. Silvia Solima? No. Susana? Susana and Wendy? Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. All right, guys. So that's going to be all for today's class. And um, I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay? Okay. See you tomorrow. All right. See you tomorrow. Have a good day, teacher. Have a good day. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye, blessings.